about eight hours ago I arrived to Belgrade. Now that I'm in Serbia, I can say I visited all the Balkans in one year. Across my trips, I've had beautiful moments and I've enjoyed every single second in this region. Here are seven conclusions of the Balkans. One, people are great no matter where you go. Perhaps sometimes they may seem a little bit harsh at the moment, but that's something completely normal. If you spend enough time to just get to know them and just uh, ask for directions or whatever you need, they are probably going to help you because people here are very, very, very nice. And in the end, they like you visiting their country and they are very proud of that. Number two, food is awesome. I've heard that the Balkan food is not that good. I've heard people saying that in some videos, in some posts on the internet, but I, I must say this is completely false. Like the food here is amazing and you can get a lot of quantity with great taste for just very, very little. Point number two leads me to point number three which is that everything here is very, very cheap from accommodation to transport to food. If you're on a budget or you are a student just like me and you don't want to spend too much on your travels, this is the perfect region to visit. Just so you know how cheap this is, I just ordered a salad, a big ass salad for just about 2 euros 30 cents. 4. Moving around may seem difficult at first, indeed it kinda is because there are no available trains normally, They're, they don't have a very nice, uh, let's say, uh, train system around this area. And finding the buses in these main uh, web pages where in Western Europe we try to find our buses they normally don't work however um, if you dig deep enough you'll find ways to get around my recommendation is that you go to your nearest bus station and you ask for directions there they are normally helpful and you will find your way to get wherever you want to go crazy hot here today in Belgrade. I think we are reaching 37 degrees Celsius. Thing is, it is not very humid, so the heat is bearable, but still. Five. Language is often a barrier here. Most of the people don't speak English and the best thing you can do, in my opinion, is to learn a few words from the local language in order to be able to communicate. If you don't, you may have some trouble when communicating with people. However, most hotels and touristy attractions, there are people there that can speak English, so you'll be saved. But if you want to venture a little bit deeper into these countries, you may find it a problem. This is the river Sava and it goes all the way there and it ends in the Danube, the longest river or one of the longest rivers in Europe. Number six, it is a very, very safe region to visit. Although there, they had some problems in the past, some wars and some ethnic clashes that I've covered in my previous videos. Overall, the region is very safe to visit, even if you are a woman. So I encourage you to, of course, first find some information, whether the region you're going is safe or not. 
it's it usually is and it's not as 20 years ago. And here is where the river Saba meets the Danube, the second longest river in Europe. And then the Danube continues on to Romania and it ends in its frontier with Ukraine. And my seventh and last conclusion is that it is probably the best region to visit in Europe. Take into account it is very, very, very cheap. There are many things to see. Take for example many touristy places in Western Europe. They are very, very expensive and they are not really that good. Instead, here in the Balkans, you will find those places even better with less tourists and with more charm for less money. So if you're planning any trip soon and you are on a budget, please come to the Balkans, you won't be disappointed. Thank God there was a phone time back there. Oh my God, it's so hot today. That has been it for today. Uh, this was the first leg of a very long trip I'm doing. Now I'm heading to the east, to a country that I've been wanting to visit for a long time. So stay tuned, see you soon.